What's up everybody, welcome back to Spiral 2 Reignite Trilogy playthrough. This time we're going to go into Aquaria Towers, one of my favorite level, levels in the game. I've actually never entered from this angle before, so here we go. This is a level that's completely underwater, well, almost completely underwater. So it's kind of ironic that Spyro is flying to it. He should be swimming to it. Oh, that's so mean. It's tossed him with the water like, like that. And they're laughing at him. That's so mean. Yep. This is going to be wet in a few minutes. I mean, this level is going to be wet in a few minutes. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. I'm on it. Yep, made sure work with that enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew I wouldn't be able to enter through here. Because I need to raise the water level by pushing the switch. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get back without the water. I want you to look at the ceiling. Yeah. See that hole up there? Towards the end, after we filled everything, we'll be going up there. We'll go swim up there. Let's get some water in here. Yep. And you'll find out what that number means later on in the level. I always like this level because after a whole first game of Spyro touching the water and dying instantly, he can now spend a whole level underwater since he has no limit to how long he can hold his breath. Of course, we were down there. I say down there because we're completely underwater. We'll need scuba gear. But it's, it's a game. I shouldn't take it too seriously. Let's get some more water. You know, I might switch to the active camera in a couple minutes just because it's a little hard to control. Let's try it. Active. Yeah, that way I don't have to worry about the camera getting in my way at all or making everyone dizzy. Head down there. Collect more gems. Oh, I love the rippling effect on the camera right there, even on Spyro. And there's mechanical sharks in here. Oh, I lied, that's the way back. This is the first area. Here are the sharks. Oh, they look a lot scarier than the PS1 version. And I'm going to have to go back because there's a chest down there, a metallic chest, which I'm going to have to activate a power-up for. And you saw that earlier, it'll be a super breath power-up. Hmm, cheap with the helmet, that's hilarious. But well, let's go up here, and we'll have to get even more water. Hmm. Oh! I think there's one final button you press where... 
the whole water, whole level completely fills with water. Ouch. I'm a guard now for two seconds, I get zapped. And again. That's why you get for zapping me. The spark is in a bubble. Nice. That way he has an O2 source. By O2, I mean oxygen. Here's the only section of the level that doesn't get filled with water at all. So that way we have a little bit more oxygen. Hi, Spider. I mean air. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. Yeah, I'm not risking it with those sharks. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. I bet. It even looks like a shark. That's why I got all the way down here with that submarine. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back down here for those gems. And here's another example of why I love the music. Yep. Spyro will jump down and the soul of the gem. And for the first time, I lost, lost sparks. Yep, and everything's completely underwater now. Yep. Anyway, what was I saying about the music? Oh yeah. Here's another example of why the music is so fitting with the atmosphere. Underwater, industrial metal buildings. Well, fits very well. But let's turn on the original music for comparison's sake again. That has more of an electronic feel for that metal building, industrial feel. I need to come up with better vocabulary words than that. And under eight minutes, the main mission is completed. Fill the water back up. Fill the level back up with water. And if I talk to the seahorse, it'll give me a telephone. Easy. But I have to backtrack by using the water to get the levels I couldn't before. See, we're back at the beginning, but there's a whole other section we haven't explored yet. I'm going to save that blast because it's my favorite. Man, that's cheap as hard to get. Got it. Let me get the spark selfie again. If I talk to the seahorse, they'll give me a talisman and I'll open the portal. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. He sounds genuinely grateful. See? That's a... That's a shell. Nice. Yep. Remember how I pointed, I pointed this out earlier? We can go up it now. But... I'm going to save it for last because it's my favorite section. I'm going to go after the metal sharks of this. Huh, it's not draining as fast as the speed power up in her goes. I'm grateful for that. Take a whole movie to catch jar Jaws and I take uh, and I take down four metal sharks in three seconds. Less I think the sharks have to be the second, the, the robot sh sharks, have to be the second scariest enemy in the game. The first one being the middle spiders and high caves. And there's gotta be another power up around here. 
I might be the only one. Let's backjack. I forgot about this crab up here. He blends in so well. See? I was, able, I was barely able to see him the first few times I passed by him. I don't want to have to pay money bags again. That's a one. One of my sands, one time fee. Ah, uh, he's giving me trouble again. The sheep. Well, I guess I expect a yellow. So I can take more hits. Just in case. I guess it's the only power up. Hmm. So, I'm gonna have to go back up here. Let's switch back to the reunited music. Yeah, so I can't dilly dally here. This might take me two or three tries to get all the sharks and all the gems. close. That was close. And I got a trophy. Lock jar. For defeating all the sharks. Nice. Made short work of those sharks and they didn't even hit me. I call that skill. That was just a matter of collecting a lot of gems and exploring the last area. My favorite area. I remember in the PS1 version, this was all gray or blue, and there was no moss on the ground or floor like here. So another nice change. I think pretty much all the big changes I point out in this game from the PS1 version, I'm gonna say they're nice. And here's my favorite section because we're gonna go above ground, for lack of a better term, and explore more of Aquaria towers. Oh, I can actually see the surface. Nice. And look at that. I was hoping to see more towers up in the distance. Just so it feels a little less isolated. But that's also why I found this level a little bit scary. I know I said it's one of my favorites, but that's why the atmosphere still works. Works so well. Because if you look around, there's something I find about being so deep underwater I can't see the surface and there's nothing but blue all, all around me in every direction. It feels isolating, but it's a kid's game. But what I'm saying is that Yeah, can't speak. What I'm saying is that that's why the atmosphere works so well. I feel like I'm actually underwater with him, even though even though I'm above the surface, I can breathe. And a little trivia for you: according to the Spiral Wikia page, her, I mean, Aquaria Towers and Sunny Beach are linked somehow. So, I guess if you go to the surface, you'll find Sunny Beach. Or if you swim under the water in Sunny Beach, you'll find this area. So maybe we're set on the same planet or world. They just have two separate portals to different areas of the world, saying that Aquaria Towers and Sunny Beach are two, two different areas of the same world. And that seahorse is going to offer my favorite challenge in the game. So I'm going to save that for last. But you may have seen Hunter with his manta ray. We're going to take care of that first. Looks like I explored all the towers right here. Of course I'm going to explore more. 
Here's this pet manta ray. And we're gonna talk to Hunter. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. He's talking to the. He's talking about his mentor, right? Like he's a car. So all I have to do is follow his seahorse and fly through these rings. It's a little tricky because I've forgotten that I have to press up to go down and vice versa. But that's a good first attempt. Well done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Sure. And we'll have now another that the challenge. Race tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Sure. Okay. Good luck. Now I have 17 rings of bubble rings of rings of bubbles to fly through. I mean, swim through. What am I saying? I think I missed that one. But maybe if I just tap it slightly, it counts. This isn't hard at all. Easy. That was easy. Incredible! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. You can't keep track of his rain tooth, but he finds orb in his flippers. Hmm. You know, it occurred to me that even when I was little, I always thought Hunter was a bit of a jerk since a challenge spiral through for those old orbs, even though he knows he needs them. But maybe he likes maybe he's just doing it to help Spiral improve his skill. But we gotta find more challenges somewhere. Now I'm saving the best challenge for last. Let's find the seahorse. Wow. I never would have spotted that gem. But maybe I'll find some some more on this challenge right here. I'm gonna talk to this seahorse. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. Just like that. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Yep. So I have to go swim up each tower and rescue each baby seahorse and avoid those electric currents right there. Ouch. Yeah, I don't think the keen seahorse has the skill to avoid those as he swims swims up the tower. That's probably why he has, he has Spyro doing it. But I always like swimming up, up the towers even while I was younger playing the game. Time it just right so I don't get shocked. I just have to find the second one. The one labeled number two, and it's right here. I just realized there's stairs there. <laughs> oh. Okay, I ran into that too fast. I remember I tried to conquer this challenge for the very first time as I kept swimming around this area trying to find the third tower but I didn't realize that it was down the first area of the level. And I may have said this before, I kind of wish they included more towers off in the distance to make it more like a big city so it doesn't feel isolated down here but seeing the surface helps a lot. back down okay so let's skip pattern for the electricity and how it works 
Or is it the, just this one crab that's in the way? Yep, it's just one crab. How many gems am I missing? Oh, only ten, so... Maybe there's one inside the tower. Or one of the towers. Or maybe I have to swing around the level to find it. Alright, number five. It's gotta be in the, in the later area. Somewhere around here. Yep, found it. Last one. What I'm hoping to avoid is having to swim around the level frantically looking for the gem. If I have to do that, I've got the time out. I won't waste your time having you watch me go, Oh, where's the gem? I've had to do that several times in Spiral 1. But, I'll find it. In the meantime, let's get a quick breath of fresh air. Go down here. Now that there's no sharks. I want to stay close to the ground in case I miss any gems because I think it'd be very easy on this one here. So it's got to be in this section right here. Hmm, where is it? Maybe it's in the last tower. Maybe it's up here. I don't want to go in there without being sure I, I didn't miss any gems around here. And of course, the only area I haven't checked is the tower. So that might be a good place to check. Oh, Zoe, I thought I thought she was a, a 10 gem, a yellow gem. And now the electricity is moving or rotating. Uh -oh. Look at the trickiest tower yet. I say that I charge right up to the baby seahorse. You did it! Now we can swim in peace! I heard that you're collecting orbs. Please, take this one. I guess word really travels fast in those worlds. Alrighty, now the hunt for the final gem. And there they are. I was looking for a yellow 10 gem, but it turns out I was supposed to search for two purple 5 gems. Nice, level complete, so. And that was only a couple minutes. But I'm still going to cut out those two minutes, I'm not going to waste your time. Now, back to Summer Forest. You'll see that now that the levels are completed, they'll go me straight. They'll It'll transport me straight to the boss area. Oh, that's just mean. The place with the real shark. That would be scary for a little guy. is the summer forest. Hmm. Ah, in PS1 it'll take me straight to it. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Cresses dungeon. All I have to do is drop down a hole 
and face crushed. But I'm not going to do that right now. Before I do that, I'm going to do the funny speedway. Or in this case, I misspelled it. I mean, mistaken it. Next is the ocean speedway. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in. Mm hmm. Yep, next will be Ocean Speedway. Thank you for watching.